Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll show you how to create this Elementor accordion section using the Elementor Flexbox layout. To create this beautiful accordion, I have modified the native Elementor accordion widget using a very small custom code snippet. You can't create this kind of accordion with the default settings, even in the Elementor Pro version without using the custom code. Now without any further ado, let's get started. To create this Elementor Accordion section, open the same page with the Elementor Editor where you want to create it. Now insert a container at the location where you want to create the accordion. Let's call it the Accordion Parent Container. While the Accordion Parent Container is selected, go to the Item setting. Then set the direction to Row. After that, switch to the Style tab and set the background color. Next, switch to the Advanced tab and set the top bottom padding to 70 pixels and the left and right padding to 50 pixels. Now insert a container within the Accordion Parent container. Let's call it the Accordion Description container. Next, duplicate the Accordion Description container and rename the duplicate container to the accordion main container. Now insert a container within the accordion description container. Let's call it the info container. While the info container is selected, go to the items option and set the elements gap to 10 pixels. Next, duplicate the info container and rename the duplicate container to the rating container. While the rating container is selected, go to the items option, set the direction to row, align items to center, justify content to center, and elements gap to zero pixels. Now insert a heading and a text editor within the info container. Now stylize both widgets one by one as mine. Next, insert a container within the rating container. Let's call it the LinkedIn rating container. While the LinkedIn rating container is selected, go to the items option. Set the align items to center, justify content to center, and elements gap to 10 pixels. Next, duplicate the LinkedIn rating container twice to create two more containers. After that, rename the duplicate containers to the divider container and Upwork rating container respectively. Now select the LinkedIn rating container, go to the layout tab, then set the content width to full width and width to 47%. Next, select the divider container, go to the layout tab, then set the content width to full width and width to 6%. Next, select the Upwork rating container, go to the Layouts tab, then set the content width to full width, and width to 47%. Now insert a heading and a star rating widget within the LinkedIn rating container. Next, style both widgets as mine one by one. Similarly, within the Upwork rating container, insert a heading and star rating widgets and style as before.
Now insert a divider within the divider container and customize it as mine. Now, insert an accordion widget within the accordion main container. Now do the rest as I'm doing. Now, go to the content tab, and then input the title and description. If your font awesome icon does not appear in your title heading, then don't worry, once you will add the code snippet in the next step, then the font awesome icon will appear automatically because I have added the font awesome CDN link in the code snippet. In the title field, input the same code line as mine because you will not be able to add this icon before the title without using this small piece of code. By the way I have given the complete code snippet for this Elementor accordion section along with the title heading code snippet in the video description, you can download it at any time. Here in this title, I have used the font awesome icon, if you want to change the icon, then go to fontawesome.com. Once the website will load, then click on the icon menu. Now here you can search for any icon, for now, let's search user gear. Once the search result will populate, then click on the free tab to filter free icons only. After that, click on the icon whichever you like. Next, click here to copy this class only, you don't require to copy the complete code. Now go back to the Elementor editor page. Now replace this class with your copied class. Next. Insert an HTML container in between the accordion description and accordion main container. Now paste the Elementor accordion code snippet in the HTML input field. Now here you can see that the appearance of our Elementor accordion widget has completely changed after adding the code snippet. You cannot achieve this kind of appearance of the accordion widget with the default settings, even in the Elementor Pro version without using the custom code. Now let's customize our Elementor Accordion section for tablet and mobile devices. To do so, select the Responsive Mode tool from the bottom left corner, and select the tablet from the top of the screen. Now, modify the settings as I am. Once you are finished with the tablet, then switch to the mobile mode, and do the styling like mine.
Now here you can see that we have successfully created our elemental accordion section. Guys, I just want to let you know that it took me almost 10 hours to make this video for you, so please like and subscribe, it will only take you 2 seconds, and if you are facing any problems, please let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.